So, let's uh, grab that jump rope if you have your jump rope available. If you don't have a jump rope, you're gonna go quick feet to really any object. So that looks like this for your quick feet. Because I'm outside and I get to use my jump rope, I'm gonna put this thing to use. I haven't jumped roped in about a month. So we're gonna get this warm up started with some jump rope, all right? If you're jumping rope, jump rope. Otherwise, quick feet and let's go. Start to get the heart rate up. Get that body moving so you can go alternating back and forth. You can go regular. You can work on your double unders. It's a great time to practice since we're at home. There we go. If you're doing quick feet, stay on those quick feet. Awesome. And go ahead, put that down. Grab your broomstick. Arms nice and wide. I want some pass-throughs here. So you're keeping your arms straight and you're just going back and forth, opening up through your chest and your shoulders. If this is easy, go ahead, bring your arms closer together. Same thing, keeping those arms straight and locked out. Give me one more. And now bring this straight up overhead. So this stick should be right over the crown of your head. And then armpits facing forward. From here, find your squat stance and let's go overhead squats. So keeping your arms pressed up overhead, reaching your hips back, driving your knees out. We are gonna knock out these overhead squats, warming up our hips our shoulders, our back, good. Let's do a couple more. Make sure you really sit back in your heels. Reach for an imaginary chair. That's incredibly important, especially as we go overhead. And set that broomstick on your back. Let's go for good mornings. Reaching your hips back and forward. If you guys have been with me, we've done these movements many times before. So you'll start to feel they get a little more comfortable, you're getting stronger, you can move through them without thinking so much. If you're just joining me, welcome. And set that down. The best 30 minutes of your day are happening right now. Let's go into skaters, take a big step. Tap, touch the floor, back and forth. There we go. If jumping's not working, lateral lunge, press off. Lateral lunge and press off, good. Couple more. Good. And back to that broomstick. Hold it up. Let's go leg swings. Forward and back. Starting to warm up through our hamstrings here. Use that broom as your balance point. Awesome. And switch sides, other leg. Just going front and back here. Good. Couple more. You should feel a nice opening of the hip flexor, nice opening of your hamstring. And set that down. Let's come into inchworms. So feet hip width apart, walking your hands out to a plank. Give me a push up. Walking your hands back to your feet and going back out for that next one. Down and up. Good. Let's go for one more. And now everyone meet me on your belly. Let's go ahead and knock out some supermen. So arms overhead, you're squeezing your hips up, your legs and your back at the same time. Warming up that back, warming up your hamstrings. Awesome job, let's do three more. One, two, and three, good. Go ahead, flip onto your back now. We're gonna go single leg V-ups. So all the way out, reaching your shoulders up, reach for one foot, and back. Good, alternating legs. I want you to focus on lifting your shoulders up first and then tapping that foot. So we're getting that full sit-up motion each rep. Good. One more V up. 
Go ahead, come to your knees. Arms overhead. Take your right foot, step it out. Left foot, hang out in the bottom and then back down and then alternate. Left foot, right foot, right back down, good. I'm gonna call these overhead squat get-ups. Nice. Couple more of these. One more. Go ahead, stand up, jumping jacks to finish this off. And now we're gonna get into our strength portion today. So our strength is overhead squats, wearing our backpack, and a fancy Superman. So go ahead and rest. Put that backpack on if you have it. We're using this as just extra weight on our body. So backpack on, grab your broomstick. Now, as we know, we've got one minute of exercise or work followed by 30 seconds of rest. So we're gonna go one minute of these weighted overhead squats. So find your squat stance. Think about pushing your feet into the floor, driving those knees out and creating some tension within your feet. So I can't see you, but I'm gonna assume you're doing this with me creating that tension. Now white, wide grip, bring that broomstick overhead. You're gonna reach your hips back. You're gonna be in the whole foot and then stand up, all right? We're continuing for a minute, ready? And go. So creating that tension through your lower body, arms reaching up to the sky with that broom. And we have this backpack on to weight these squats. Normally we would weight what we're lifting overhead, but since we can't do that, we're gonna weight our body instead. Get creative. There we go, nice and slow, feeling that whole range of motion through these overhead squats. Keeping your arms pressed up to the ceiling the whole time. Imagine you're holding a 300 pound barbell here. We've only got 20 more seconds, so keep it up. Driving your knees out, your whole foot is in the floor. Drive through your heels to stand up. Squeezing your butt at the top of that squat. We've got 10 more seconds. Awesome. Three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead, take that backpack off. You're gonna find a Superman position and you can watch right here. Had a little fall there. It's all right, we're back. We're back and we're good. All right, so your broomstick is overhead. And you're gonna pull back, holding that Superman position, all right? So everyone, find that Superman. Squeeze your chest off the floor, squeeze your legs up. Look straight at the floor, squeeze down, elbows back, and bring it up. There we go. Up and down, working that lats, our pulling motion. Good. We've got 30 more seconds here. Pulling down and up. Keep those legs lifted high. Keep your chest a little higher. Awesome. 15 more seconds. Squeeze those shoulder blades down as you pull that broom to your back. Seven more seconds, couple more. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're back to our overhead squats again. Yes, there was an earthquake, exactly. So, put that backpack on. Broomstick is coming up overhead. We have our squats coming up here in 10 seconds. All right, so feet are shoulder width apart, arms overhead, break that broom in half, armpits facing forward, and let's squat. Good. Using that weight on your back for extra resistance through these squats. Keeping that core engaged 
Reach your butt back. Just come as low as you can. Then drive up through your heels. Breaking your broom in half. Shine your armpits towards me. And then slowly, can you sink a little lower? And then squeeze your butt to stand up. Come down a little lower. Squeeze your butt to stand up. We've got 25 seconds here. Good. And if you feel solid here, you can pick up the pace, going a little quicker. Final 10 seconds. Remember, weight is in the heels. You reach your butt back to find a chair. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right. Yeah, Superman broom is like a press, except it's pulling down. So it's more like a lap pull down. If you guys have done a lap pull down at the gym, think about that motion as you pull that broom back behind your head. All right? So we get to do this a second time. Go ahead, laying back down. Find that Superman hold. Hold it up the whole time. Ready? And go. And then lap pull down. Extend. Lap pull down. Good. Squeezing those upper back muscles and then straightening the arms overhead. Nice. You can widen your arms if you need to. You can pull them more narrow if you have that mobility. Keeping that butt up high, chest lifted. Good. So we're working a lot of things here at once. We've got 30 more seconds. job. If you need a reset, rest. Reset by squeezing your butt, squeezing your hamstrings, lifting that chest up. Couple more here. 10 seconds, guys. Try to stay up in that Superman. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, final round. Whew, we've got one more round of squats. One more round of Superman. So add that weight. You know what, I'm gonna try putting it in my front, seeing what that feels like. It's gonna make this overhead squat more unbalanced. We're going here in 10 seconds. I swear people must think I am absolutely insane. Going here in two, one, and go. So with the weight in your front, you'll feel yourself moving forward more. So it forces me actually to reach back into my heels and drive up through my heels. So if you have a problem drifting forward into your toes, I encourage you to try this. It actually feels better on my hips and knees. So it might feel better on yours. Good. As you stand up, really focus on those hamstrings and glutes. And then overhead, drive that broom up to your ceiling. Good, you're staying nice and strong. Every muscle through these overhead squats has to remain active because we don't just have a broom, we have a 300 pound barbell over our head. And if you did, you'd really have to stabilize everything. So final 10 seconds. Good, create that tension. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're coming up on our final round of Superman. We're gonna switch it up a bit. So this time we're gonna go up and down, holding this broom in front of us. Then the last 30 seconds, we're gonna do those lap pulls, all right? So on your back, finding that Superman, holding your broom out in front, up and down in two, one, and go. So lift up and back down, up and back down. Good. It should feel a little harder through your shoulders. Arms stay straight out in front of you. Good. Lifting through your chest, lifting through your hamstrings and glutes. We've got seven more seconds. Nice. One more. Now hold. Lap pull down and back. Look straight down at your mat. Keep that neck neutral the whole time. Good, pull down like you're pulling 100 pounds. 
and back up and pull down and squeeze. 10 more seconds. Pull down and squeeze. Keep those lift, legs lifted. Two, one, and relax. Oh, all right. That was fun. Now we get to do the even more fun stuff. So, as we see written on our board, we've got, what's up, Danny? Welcome from Colorado. All right, we've got three rounds. We're gonna do a minute of jump rope or those quick feet, then a minute of devil's press, which I'll review, and then a minute of skaters. Then the next round, jump rope, thrusters, skaters. Skaters we did in our warm up. Then the last round, jump rope, swings, and skaters. After that, we're gonna go directly into five minutes. 15 V-ups, we did those in our warm up. 10 overhead squat get-ups, we did those in our warm up. Once we hit minute 14, we have a minute cash out. I'm feeling nice, so you get to choose devil's press, thruster, or swing to do for that final minute, all right? So let's review those movements in black here. Go ahead, grab your backpack or grab your dumbbell. I'll show you with the backpack. So devil's press. You're gonna have your dumbbells underneath your hands or your backpack underneath your hands. Go ahead, come down into a burpee, chest on the floor, jump up, and now you're gonna take that backpack and swing it overhead. That's one, all right? So it's down into the burpee, jump up, swing it overhead. Thrusters. You're holding your dumbbells at your shoulders or your backpack, squat down and press up overhead, all right? And then the last one is our swing. If you're using a backpack, grab your handles. You're gonna come through your hips and back. Now on that kettlebell swing, hips go back, load the hamstrings, squeeze your butt, all right? We good? I'm gonna assume we're good. All right, remember, as always, there's 30 people counting on you. So, work hard these whole 15 minutes. Grab your jump rope or your quick feet. We are getting going here in three, two, one, go. One minute of jump rope. I'll let you know when we have 15 seconds left. And now we're gonna move on to those devil's presses. And I'm gonna do them with a single dumbbell. So I'll show you that option too. Here we go, two feet. Once again, we can alternate. You can do double unders. 30 more seconds. Whatever you're doing, just keep it going here. seconds. We're getting ready for those devil's presses. In 10. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Devil's press. So I'm coming down into my burpee and then I'm going to do a single arm swing overhead and I'm going to switch arms. You can do this with two dumbbells together too. Good. It's only a minute. Push it out. Don't stop. No need to rest here. In fact, we have no rest this whole workout. We don't need it. It's Monday. Just had two days off. Nice. 30 more seconds. Now we're going into skaters. Use those hips to drive that backpack or dumbbell overhead. Swing it up. Good. 15 seconds. Last 10, everyone give me one more. Awesome, five seconds. Three, two, one, skaters or lateral lunges. All right, either one. We're going here for that minute. Switch directions. I might say this is probably the worst part 
try to balance, tap the floor. If you've been doing these, try to at least get lower. 30 seconds. Awesome guys, 20. All the way to the end here. Seven seconds, grabbing that jump rope. In three, two, one, back on it, or quick feet. Woo. You don't need to catch your breath like me, keep going. double on your still. <laughs> You've got these? Go for them. Feels good. Woo. All right. 30 down, 30 to go. Stay on that jump rope. thing. I will not be choosing thrusters as my bonus round, but I commend you if that's what you choose. Good. 30 seconds. Squeeze your butt. Use those legs to propel overhead. Nice big exhale as you power your weights overhead. 15 seconds. All right, skaters in five, four, three, two, one. Back to it. Jump and tap. Good, bend through that leg. Use that standing glute to lower you to the floor instead of reaching over. There we go. Awesome. Halfway there. Can you get a little further in that jump? Maybe you're getting wider. Maybe you're lunging and pressing off. Lunging, pressing off. We've got 10 seconds. Five, back to jump rope. Three, two, one. Last round here. Final minute of jump rope. If you're not doing jump rope, quick feet or jumping jacks. Just try to move through this whole minute, all right? There we go. 30 seconds. Last little bit of jump rope for the rest of the day. seconds. Now we have swings. All right, in five, three, two, one. If you're doing dumbbell swings, grab the head of your dumbbell. Up and through. Good. From the side, pushing your hips back, squeezing through your butt. Nicely 
done. Drive through those heels. Drive through those hamstrings. 30 seconds. Feel your abs here, that's okay. 15 seconds. If you need a break, counting to three, two, one, then you're right back on. Let's finish strong. In three, two, one, final minute of skaters. Here we go. Can you get wider? Balance. Swing that arm and leg across. Get as much distance as you can. That's option one. Lunging is option two. Tapping the floor is option three. 20 more seconds, guys. Don't quit now. seconds now we're on our mats for v-ups in five three two one 15 v-ups make them single leg make them two legs here we go those get-ups. Arms overhead, right, left, right, left. Ten total. That's two. Want to make it harder? Hold that dumbbell overhead. tuck up. All I care about is that your shoulders come all the way off. You're balancing on your tailbone. There we go. You can do a twist at the top. All 15. I'm gonna try my get-ups with my broomstick now. So core tight, staying low. Five per leg. Second favorite exercise outside of burpees, just if you didn't know that. I love them. Remember though, arms first, then legs. Arms first, then legs. Get that back off the mat. Nice guys, keep it up with me. We've got less than two minutes here. Can you try it with your backpack or your dumbbell overhead?
There we go. Oh, it's harder to stay low. These are challenging. Five per leg. If you need that rest, quick rest, then right back to it. Overhead, arms stay locked out. All right, 55 seconds before our final minute cash out. Work with me all the way through these two movements, all the way to the end. Feel free to vary up the version of that V up or tuck up you do challenge yourself try it with straight legs why not all right 20 seconds I'm gonna go for a couple more get ups focusing on staying low with no weight 10 seconds Five seconds. Whatever you're doing. Devil's press, thrusters, swings, go. Final minute. I'm doing devil's presses. I'll let you know we're halfway. seconds. Stay with me now. A little faster, a little harder, because you know you can, because it's about to end. And we worked so hard for 30 minutes already. What is 15 seconds? Come on, guys. 10 seconds. All together. Give me one more rep. Three, two, one. Holy moly, that was awesome. All right, let's stretch. Go ahead, take a seat. Find a figure four, so cross your right ankle over your left knee, chest proud, big deep breaths. Let's take three breaths in, exhale, two more. One more. Good job, let's switch sides. Crossing that left knee, chest proud, three deep breaths, inhale. Let it out, exhale, two more. Good, big exhale, last one. Inhale as much air as you can. Hold it and release. Awesome job, guys. Thank you as always. Welcome to my backyard. That was killer. Yeah, I feel ya with the skulls and the death and the sweat. See you tomorrow. Have a good Monday.